Hey guys, today we're going to be uh, tell, uh, having a little special edition today. Uh, telling you the top 10 Pokemon that should have been legendaries. The 10th one, in my and Nate's opinion, should have been Gigalath. I mean, seriously, normally heavy Pokemon are legendaries. Uh, look at Dialga, Arceus, Polkia, Reshiram, Zekrom. Kiram. They all weigh more than 500 pounds. You gotta admit, this is kind of messed up. And, and don't forget about the other two new legendaries in Pokemon X and Y. Yeah, they both weigh more than uh, 300, I think. Uh, and, uh, so, Gigalath should have been one. It is very strong. A lot of HP, great defense. Okay. But there's the reason why it's number 10. Because it evolved from a pretty, pretty in-between weak white Pokemon, like Pokemon. So, that's, that's why we're having it as number 10. Okay, number 9, in Nate's and I's opinion, is Darmanitan. For one, because it can turn into Zen Mode, and then it turns to Psychic. And that's really weird, because it's also fighting type when it's in its attack mode. So, Doesn't that kind of ring a bell? White Kirim, Black Kirim? Come on, it kind of rings a bell. I it guess, can change modes, but of course they're different game exclusives, so... Yeah, I guess so. So that's why we chose Dermanitan, and it did weigh more than 100 pounds, so... <laughs> Most uh, legendaries weigh more than 100, at least. And then number uh, seven is uh, Lucario. Lucario, I mean, is pretty weak in black, too, but if you've ever seen him in X and Y, he is beast. I mean, like, this Pokemon is so cool. Of course, I got this off of my opinion, so... It took a while to make this list up, so if you don't agree with us, you can just leave comments below. And, uh, tell us which Pokemon you think, okay? Uh, so, Lucario, uh, weighs about 78 pounds. It doesn't weigh that much, but it is very strong with all its aura sensors. And then, as number six, we chose Charizard. Even though it's a starter Pokemon, it was quite strong. Uh, it even says that in the TV show. Uh, so that, and it weighs more than, uh, 200 pounds. Uh, it's flying and fire. Uh, actually a kind of bad combination, but it still works quite well. And I actually heard that Mega Charizard X and Pokemon X and Y is actually changed into Pokemon into a dragon and f fire. So that is pretty dang cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Okay, so, now that we're done with Charizard, we're going to do number five. It's Persian. It's kind of surprising, I know, right? But Persian was one of the big Pokemon when uh, Blue, Red, and Green came out. Persian was one of the made choices for a lot of the traders who played the game. So, it is uh, actually quite strong. Uh, because it can learn psychic moves. Well, you're probably wondering why it's so down on the list. It's simply because it evolved from the stupid Pokemon Meowth. Now, you're probably thinking when I say Meowth, Look, it's Team Rocket! Well, no. They just got Team Rocket from this... I mean, yeah. You just kind of get in bored of them. Team Rocket, Meowth. Meowth can't talk in the games. So, yeah, that's our opinion. Okay, so, like we said, put comments down on what Pokemon you think should be legendaries. And as number four, we chose Ampharos. Ampharos is le legendary. For one, it weighs more than 300 pounds, and it evolves from the super weak Mareep. Yeah, I mean, it's just stupid. It shouldn't even be a Pokemon, in my opinion. It's just weak, so that's Ampharos. And number three was Rhydon. Steel and ground. I mean, seriously, that's a pretty good com combined measure. Even though, sadly, it'll probably be super effective on fire and 
Yeah, yeah it, so. but it is a good combo. In uh, Nate's and our opinion, that's why we put it in third. And it weighs about 700 pounds, so and it's pretty plus, big. Plus, to be honest with you, number, another reason why we put it number three is simply because it evolves from another strong Pokemon, Rhyhorn. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Okay, and then as number two, we chose Arcanine. It's probably one of the strongest Fire-type Pokemon besides Embor. It should be a legendary. It's just stupid, and here's the thing, too. Its first evolution is stupid and weak, and here's the bad part about it. You can't evolutionize it. Why, may you ask? Because you have to wait until level 40. Yeah, that's right, level 40. In some games, that is, anyway. Neat isn't that sure about it. Uh... So, uh, but Arcanine is really strong. He's one of the strongest fire types. And then, as number one, we chose Gyarados. Now, you probably saw this one coming, so... I... I don't know. We have it's a just... problem with you, Game Freak. Seriously, this Pokemon is awesome. Even though it evolved from Magikarp, I mean, seriously, Game Freak. It's just stupid! It's stupid! There's only one way to get this Pokemon, and that's to grab the Super Rod. I can show you how to get that, and go to the water, and fish for it. And here's the thing, too. It's hard to get. Yeah, it is. And especially in Pokemon Y, it's almost impossible. You can't get it. And Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, it's a lot easier. You get it at uh, uh, some lake uh, by Blackthorn City. Uh, so... That's all, and guys, please subscribe to us. We're really trying hard to entertain you guys. So, Reshiram and Zekram team, peace! peace.